Hey guys, welcome to the second uh, work in progress video for my uh, custom knife. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to be in Fusion 360 for very much of this video. I just wanted to take a second to show you uh, what we're going to be making today. Today we're going to be working on the fixture that we're going to use to hold the handles as we mill them. Um, I've kind of been trying to figure out how I wanted to secure the handles to the fixture as well as locate um, the handles on the fixture so that it would be repeatable and I've decided to take a route that may be cheating a little bit. I'm going to use shoulder bolts to both locate and secure the uh, handles to the fixture. So let's make this fixture transparent and we can see these are through holes but the first um, half of the hole is reamed at 3 16 and then the bottom half will actually be threaded to accept a shoulder bolt. So hopefully that will work to both locate and secure the handles to the fixture. So let's get working on it. Alright, this is the aluminum plate that we're going to use for our handle fixture. Uh, actually I should probably put in a disclaimer in here. I'm not a machinist by trade, so this isn't a best practices video. There are probably things I'm doing wrong. Um, this is mainly just meant to bring you guys along to see what my process is and maybe gives you ideas for your own or just for your own curiosity. Anyway, the first operation we need to do is we're going to face the aluminum plate. I'm using Tormox Superfly. Um, as you can see, I've also sped the video up, so this isn't so long. Um, as far as the Superfly goes though, I've had really good luck with it. It seems to do a really good job. Um, as you can kind of see here, it takes some pretty good chips um, and leaves a really great finish. So I've been really happy with the, the Superfly, for at least in aluminum, I've not used. They have different inserts for steel, I've not used those, but for aluminum it does a really good job. I know a lot of other people that use it have been happy with it as well. So uh, after I face it here, um, I need to find my origin or my zero zero point. I'm using, um, I think it's Wild Horse Innovations is who I bought this probe from. It was really cheap. Uh, I've been really happy with it as well, to be honest. Uh, this is kind of starting to sound like um, advertising for folks. I, I'm not. I like to let you guys know what products I've had good luck with. But yeah, with, with this probe, it seems to be very repeatable and holds pretty good tolerances. I've not used the Tormach passive probe, so it may do you know better or just as well. But at any rate, this one was a lot cheaper. Um, so after I found the origin in the lower left-hand corner, I'll go ahead and uh, spot all the drill marks and. Uh, from there, you know, from here on out, it's probably pretty self-explanatory. So, I don't actually use the handle fixture in this video. The next video, you can see how the handle fixture is used for securing and locating the handle fixtures. Thanks, guys, for watching.